What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my review of the Fandu Big Gold World Heavyweight Championship courtesy of Fandu Belts, obviously. Uh, and yeah, let's get right into it. We're going to look in depth straight away. This is an absolutely stunning championship. The best version of the Big Gold at a very affordable price, in my opinion, obviously, you know, no hate. But yeah, Let's get right into it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this championship is absolutely stunning. I honestly, I've got a couple of bad things to say about it, but it's mainly positives. And oh my God, for the price, it's an absolute steal. So I got this on Fandu Bell's Black Friday sale for $219, equivalenting to £173, including the custom nameplate. That's why it was a bit more expensive. Um, it is meant to be the perfect version. However, there is a few imperfections on it, but it's not enough for me to, you know, warrant having to send the thing back because it took like three weeks to get here. Obviously over in the UK, Fandu Belt's an American company. Um, but yeah, so also what I'm doing is I've got a comparison to make. So right here, if I lay it over the top, I have the WWE Shop World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, this is only a commemorative championship. However, you know, oh look, you can see me in the nameplate. Hello. Uh, this is only a commemorative championship. However, the detailing and everything is the exact same as the replica. So I'm just going to move that up there. And as you can see straight away, look at the comparison. The golds are pretty different. I mean, this is this looks more bronze than it does gold in comparison to this. Uh, that might just be the lighting, but you can definitely see that this is a deeper, darker gold. Um, other than that, we'll move on to the actual plating and like plate thickness, plate etching, uh, detailing, etc. So as you can see on the Fandu, obviously we have very, very deep detailing, deep etching on the design of the actual main plate. We see the two grapplers here. Uh, these guys aren't actually as big and as like, you know, um, like thick as the ones on the WWE shop version. Uh, then we have the globe, which is raised, as well as the crown, which is raised and has a really nice, uh, like, raised look to it as well. The writing is also very raised, as well as the writing on the custom nameplate. Compared to WWE shop's version, this is as flat as a pancake. Look at the difference in detail. On camera, you can pick up every single detail in this fandu. When you go over here, it looks like something I've drawn on paper. Uh, don't get me wrong. If you want to buy a WWE Shop version, that's absolutely fine. I'm not going to, you know, dislike you. I've used this and I've, this was my first ever replica. And it's done me well for two years. But seeing the alternative, there's no, there's no comparing. I mean, this is just by far the more superior belt, in my opinion. But yeah, looking at this, obviously everything is flat. It's two millimetres thick. Uh, in comparison to this whopping eight millimeters. The Fandu is curved. Uh, well, it's more domed. It's it's sort of, what I mean by domed is it's like curved at every angle, if that makes sense. So if you come around here, you can see it's curved. Uh, it doesn't really show well on camera much, but like it's really curved. So there from here to here, as well as here, to here, if that makes sense. The WWE Shop version is flat as a pancake. There is no curve to this at all. Um, then moving on to the stones, I guess we can go on to next. These stone holders are very raised on this Fandu, very raised. I've seen a lot of people that don't like that. I'm a fan, um, it doesn't bother me. Obviously, if you look at these, by the stone holders, you see the little gold things that the stones are sitting in? Yeah, them. On the WWE shop version, they are, well, like the rest of the plate, flat as a pancake. Um, so that is that. Other thing, now we're going to move on to a negative. Now, this is just on the Fandu. Um, so on there, and it's not really a negative. It's just something that I've seen, and I'm sort of thinking, well, why is that like that then? So if you look around, we've got the rope border of the edge of the big gold, as you can see, the little rope border, and it goes like just on the top. But on the side plates, it's continuous the whole way around. Do you see what I mean? So it sort of stops on the main plate and then continues on this one. I, I, I don't know why that is. I don't know if the real one was like this. This is uh, obviously based off of like 
multiple versions of the big gold. Fandu offer you different services. You can either get big gold and um, nickel plating. You can either get all nickel or you can get an antique. I obviously got the all big gold. WWE version is my favorite version, but I do love how like more thick this is than the other ones. So moving on to the side plates, these are identical, literally absolutely identical. Um, so moving on to these, it's the exact same really. Uh, very detailed. Obviously, we've got texturing in the gaps. I forgot to mention that on the name plate, on the main plate. Sorry, there is texturing uh, behind all of the plate. It's not like nugget texturing, like was seen on the 2011 Big Gold when Randy Orton had it, but it's more than just the flat um, plastic in this case of this Big Gold. So that's always a nice feature. Obviously, once again, the rope border goes the whole way around. Um, these main plates, I mean side plates, sorry, these are smaller than the WWE shop version. You can see the Fandu Big Gold is relatively smaller than the uh, the WWE Big Gold, uh, but that doesn't bother me. If you want an accurate size, obviously, unfortunately, Fandu is slightly smaller, but, you know, what can you say? Um, other than that, we are going to move on to some of the flaws I have with this belt. It's slightly annoying. I don't know how well it will pick up on camera, but can you guys see that white glue stuff that's embedded in the plating yeah that isn't supposed to be there it's like someone spilled glue on my belt um which is slightly annoying other than that there's some slight plating defects as you can see there where the metal is coming through the gold plating as well as a tiny one on this side right here if the camera focuses is it gonna focus no, I don't think it will. But right there, you can see that little grey bit. Uh, they're the sort of flaws which are slightly annoying considering I, I did order a perfect version of the belt and I have imperfections. Um, obviously, you can order imperfect ones that have slight plating defects like that, but it would have saved me like £40 if, you know, I ordered the cheap one. But in the end, I can't be bothered to send it all the way back. So I'm just going to have to deal with it. Now we're moving on to the strap. Now the Fandu straps get shit on a lot because they are, well, the ones I've seen are absolutely terrible. I don't like the 10 by 10 snap boxes. I am not a fan of that. But I also don't like this snap box on the WWE style. I much preferred like the WrestleMania 20 version where it was literally like five by five on each side. So if I ever get this re-leathered, that's exactly what I will have. Um, but I've seen a lot of people, the Fandu straps or the old ones anyway, did have stitching around the edge, all around the edge, just like the WWE ones, to show that they aren't real leather. Um, but the WWE straps, this one is a different case. I've had this two years and it's, you know, it's relatively floppy now. But when you first get a WWE strap, it's floppy. Well, look, you can see, for example, this. This just feels like card, whereas this, you know, that folds. But on the older Fandu replica belts, the straps had no substance to them whatsoever. And because of that, it felt just like the plates were going to rip through the strap. Now, this is a newer style strap. I don't know if it's real leather. It smells like real leather, but it doesn't feel like real leather. So I've got this black, le uh, black leather strap with a red backing. Obviously, when we take a look at the back, it sort of does kind of feel as well that the, uh, the screws are going to break through. Um, but there is still almost no substance to this belt. If you s tried to sit it up uh, and tuck the plates behind and done it up, it would literally just fall, like, exactly like this. Uh, the main plate is way too heavy for the strap, um, no matter what the, s the material is that they put on it. So there is that. Um, the WWE strap sucks. There's no other way to put it. Um, and, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've missed. I've sort of done this on the fly. Um, because this is sort of just a, like, I'm pretty good with belts. I'm not a belt expert. I don't consider my belt an expert. I don't consider myself a belt expert, sorry. But I am very into championship belts. I do study them a lot. Um, oh yeah, obviously one of the main things that is different between the WWE and the Fandu, there is no WWE logo. To avoid copyright, Fandu belts can't put a WWE logo on. And why would you want one? This isn't identical to the belt they used in WWE, like, in many ways. 
uh, from the strap size to the thickness of the plates. This is sort of a big mashup of all of the big golds that have ever been used, which is why I liked it so much because it's not one specific version. It's not a WCW, it's not a Crumb Ryan, it's not, you know, it's not a WWE. It's sort of just a mashup of all of them, which I really like. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think we'll flip it over and I'll show you the difference in the, like, I'll show you the screws and stuff. Uh, that's what the backing looks like. It's soft. It does feel like sort of leathery, but it doesn't feel like real leather, if that makes sense. Uh, the screws are very small. Uh, WWE has these very big, thick screws on their belts. These ones aren't, but I am a big fan of how many screws there are. Obviously, when you have plates that are this heavy, you need a lot of screws. The WWE commemorative, once again, only commemorative, does come with a red crop backing, which I absolutely adore. Uh, however, I bought this, you know, and like ages ago now, and they still have rivets on the belt, which the rivets absolutely suck. Obviously, you can see mine's missing like two. Um, and yeah, the only other thing, um, the if you're wondering why I've got them, these four snaps aren't attached it's because my wall hanger ripped them off uh, wwe shop straps don't have snaps attached very well so when you put them on a wall hanger and pull it off quite frequently well you can see the snap stays on the wall hanger which is very inconvenient but yeah I, i'm not gonna hang this up this goes in my display case but if you have any questions, obviously feel free to ask in the comment section down below. Before I wrap this video up, I suppose I should probably give you guys an over shoulder slash waist look. Uh, obviously, if I stand on my tiptoes, you can see this is the championship over shoulder on me. From the side, obviously from the back, we've got this really long strap. This side, which obviously you probably can't even see it here, you can't. Then on the front, once again, obviously the flexibility of it is second to none. This thing is so flexible. Uh, but also, you know, there's other things like when you hold it, you can see the underside of the plates. Like, it does feel like it's going to come off at times. Like, it feels like it could rip through uh, just by holding it. You can see, obviously, real belts, the plates lift. But, you know, it's sort of, it is a bit scary when you have, like, a strap that's similar to this where it's a bit flimsy. Uh, now, let me just set the camera up for the round the waist shot. Okay, guys, so this is the round the waist shot. Forgive me, I'm, I've just put my pyjama bottoms on. Uh, obviously, as you can see, it sits quite nicely. If I turn myself around, there's obviously the really long strap. It is quite inconvenient having to like, you know, you're used to pulling the strap from here. Having to take it off from like all the way around here is a bit weird, but there you go. Here's the Fandu Big Gold World Heavyweight Championship round the waist let's wrap this video up um this is an absolutely fantastic championship i 100 percent recommend getting one they do sales regularly so if you're you know a bit tight on money i would recommend waiting for a sale um but other than that this championship is fantastic. Obviously, my um, wrestling company, my wrestling show that we do, my little backyard show, obviously, we use this from now on. We used to use this, but now it's all going to be the Fandu Big Gold with the Anthony nameplate. Obviously, if I drop the belt, which, uh, you know, fingers crossed I won't, we will have to buy a new nameplate. But it is what it is. I have been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Let's have one more big look. Obviously, once again, Fandu slightly smaller than the WWE, but that is not really much of a difference. You can see there isn't that much in it. But yeah, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.